Hey, what's up, folks? This is Keith, and you're watching Barbara's Auto Help. Today, I got my 07 Ford Edge here with a 3.5 liter in it, and I thought it would be a good idea to do a video on how these water pumps leak. I believe they started using this water pump design in roughly 2007, and they still use it all the way up till 2018, roughly, maybe maybe even longer than that. I'm not sure. Uh, you can see this in Tauruses. You can also see this in Explorers and edges so this is a water pump that mounts on this 3.5 liter and as you can see this is the pulley right here and it's got a little cog on it that is driven by a timing chain and most of your normal water pumps uh, which are externally mounted will have a weep hole right up under here somewhere that will allow coolant to seep out and dribble down well because this is inside the engine cover they developed a special weep hole as mentioned and you see this little tube here going from that area over to the side there that's your weep channel and if you look on the inside here that channel has a little slit right here that allows that coolant that weeps through the weep hole to then be channeled into another chamber right there that's the corresponding chamber on the back side where that water pump mounts and it does have uh, some soot and stuff up in there that I got to clean out but it goes inside that channel and then there's a tube right back there that you can't really see that goes to the side of the block and that's where it weeps out. You see your alternator right there? It weeps out just behind the alternator. Now that channel exits out the side of the block, and I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but it's kind of a circular, it looks like a freeze plug right there, but then it has a little opening at the top of it. That's the weep hole that allows the coolant to come outside the engine. And like I said, it leaks right behind the alternator there. Uh, a lot of folks mistake this for a leaking freeze plug and then they replace or they remove the alternator and then they try to remove that freeze plug only to find out that nobody has that freeze plug anywhere. And sometimes people mistake it for a cracked head or a cracked block or a blown head gasket. And that's just not so in uh, the majority of the cases. That's very rare. So it's uh, a leaking water pump and it throws a lot of people off. So that's where it leaks at. And here's an example on another vehicle that I'd worked on recently. Uh, you can see here that just on the side of the block, looking up at the engine from up underneath, uh, you can see that coolant leaking down in between the alternator and the block there. So this is typically what it will look like when you have a water pump leaking through the weep hole on one of these 3.5 liters. And here you have another example. This is on my engine here. Uh, my water pump went out catastrophically. The, uh, the bearings fell inside and the, the pool is just flopping around there. So instead of the coolant weeping through the weep hole, which it was for a very long time, there, there are some snail trails on the side of my engine there. Uh, it went out catastrophically and all that coolant came out through that shaft there and it got into my engine oil. So here I am, uh, I'm gonna be replacing my water pump and my timing chain and hoping that uh, the engine isn't totally ruined. Uh, there was some metal in it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna chance it and see what happens. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if it helped you, please like and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, please comment down below there. I'll be happy to answer you as soon as I can. Please see the description of this video for more very important information that you need to know before you apply this knowledge or attempt to perform any repair uh, described in this video. I have more very important information down there that you need to know and a nice little disclaimer. Uh, also guys, I'll have some links to videos uh, showing how I diagnosed this. I'll also have links to videos showing how I'm repairing this as they become available. So please check out the description for the, that information. And thanks again. I appreciate it, guys.